I met a young lady last summer. Our romance was hot and heavy. She was very beautiful and charming. One month into the relationship she became detached. Like she had no emotions. She spent a long time convincing me, my friends were trying to hit on her. She later convinced me my family didn't like her. Everyone in my life was under scrutiny. Months would pass, my life changed. I used to have a lot of friends, hobbies and interests, but time away from her would create so many fights. I gave them up. She demanded expensive purses and shoes from each holiday like clockwork. Although, we rarely celebrated my birthday. I let her drain me emotionally. She constantly compared me to her brother who was an anesthesiologist. She constantly talked about his lifestyle, how he and his wife traveled, where they ate and how he would give his wife lavish gifts. Eventually, the sex stopped, I felt like there wasn't any real intimacy. When I asked her what's wrong, she stonewalled the conversation. Eventually, she said her second job made her too tired. Then I caught her lying about minor things. When I found a text of her sending a nude pic to a co-worker. She claimed it was for a bet. She later accused me of sleeping with our 61-year-old neighbor. But later I would find a text message to that same co-worker inviting her to stay in a hotel with him. She got angry and called me controlling. I finally discovered dozens of messages from her to other men who she arranged to meet up for sex. These dates match up with times, she left to work her second job. She never admitted to any of her behavior or accepted anything she did affected me. What you just heard was the story of a man dealing with a toxic and narcissistic woman. As Sigma males we will run across all sorts of people and personalities. However the narcissistic personality can be the most dangerous and the most damaging. A narcissistic personality involves a pattern of arrogant, selfish thinking and behavior, a lack of concern for the feelings of others, and an excessive need for attention. This behavior makes them especially troublesome for their families, partners and friends. These encounters can be an extremely destructive and life-altering experience. The key is knowing how to avoid them and preserving your mental health and well-being. In this video, we'll discuss the natural way a Sigma male personality crush is a narcissist and sends them running. One point Sigmas crush the narcissist's sense of entitlement. Some narcissists have the sense that everything belongs to them and they have to be the center of attention. This sense of entitlement will be crushed quickly. Imagine a personality like a Sigma who treats everyone equally. Sigma men don't buy into celebrity, so why would they put someone on a pedestal? However, when a narcissist sees no one will cater to them, the narcissist has to change their personality. They have to become more humble. The narcissist can't do that. The narcissist's personality is based on their sense of entitlement. This is the only way they can validate their existence. They will become distraught and eventually flee. 2. Sigmas will deflect the narcissist's projections. The narcissist is a master at what's called projection. This is when they project their own feelings onto others. They will cheat and accuse you of being a cheater. They will accuse you of being vindictive or holding grudges. At times you may not even know where this is coming from. This is their inner world they project onto others. They use this to control everyone and everything around them. They have to dominate the relationship and do whatever it takes to make sure that they are seen as the superior one and that they can get what they want. I Sigma male as a keen sense of self-awareness. They understand where they are emotionally at all times. These projections will not penetrate our minds. This will frustrate a narcissist as they need somewhere to offload their toxicity. 3. Sigmas will mirror the narcissist's behavior. Remember Sigma males are not influenced by society or other people. We are internally grounded. This is the best advantage we have over narcissistic people. Sigmas can see through all the gaslighting and chaos as an expression of the narcissist insecurity and inadequacy. They can help but see the narcissist's attempts to feel worthwhile. So if the narcissist is feeling worthless, a Sigma will notice that. 
If the narcissist is feeling depressed, the sigma will notice that. If the narcissist is feeling rage, a sigma will notice that too. And the sigma personality will reflect the narcissist's behavior back to them. This will crush the narcissist as they have spent so much time building the perfect image. At times, the narcissist doesn't like it, but they must accept it to some extent. 4. Sigmas will pursue their own interests. Narcissists, like the one in the story, will often use triangulation of others to kill your confidence and get you to change your interests and hobbies. They will constantly compare you to others by saying, they have so much extra stuff. They have a better car. They have better job. They have a better life. As a result, an otherwise healthy and productive person may second guess themselves. Really, anything that threatens their supremacy is automatically bad. So as they see you pursuing your own interests, they will feel threatened and will try to convince you that your interests are stupid, wrong, and selfish. They are trying to convince you that you are wrong about your interests so that you will change your mind. This is one area Sigmas must become vigilant with as we are susceptible to self-isolation. So how do you make a narcissist feel awful? The best way to combat this tactic is to compare them to others. Their weak ego will be crushed each time. Be aware they may collapse into rage and anger when confronted with their inadequacies. 5. Sigmas are stoic. Sigmas understand narcissists love to provoke. Sigma males are the kings of being stoic. This crushes the narcissist because your reaction is validation to them. Sure, they'll try to get you to yell, fight, and break things. They'll do everything in their power to provoke a Sigma. If we stay calm, they will get frustrated and eventually give up. This is the easiest way to piss off a narcissist is to just be stoic. Narcissists hate to be shown up. They do whatever they can to provoke you. But if you just sit there and take it all, of course, they will get frustrated and angry. But when you remain calm, they don't know what to do. Their attempt to transfer their negative energy to you isn't working. Just be stoic and they have to sit in their own energy. 6. Sigma men will break the narcissist's ego. Narcissists have a false sense of self and are often highly self-centered. They are incapable of being compassionate and understanding to anyone but themselves. Their egos are so inflated that they see no other person as an equal or worthy of equal treatment. A Sigma male may understand the narcissist's pain, but are not sold on a narcissist's ego. They understand the narcissist isn't good enough to be in a relationship with them. They understand the narcissist will not be positive or try to improve themselves. This rejection from the Sigma often resorts in a core wound to the narcissist. On rare occasions, it sometimes helps the narcissist heal and become more loving, compassionate, and generous to others. Lastly, Sigmas will walk away. We realize the narcissist has not a hint of self-awareness, and they live to abuse others. Thus, we will walk away and make them a footnote in our life. And due to their lack of self-awareness, their life and relationships will be a total mess. Keep in mind, toxic relationships with narcissists can happen to anyone. And there is no reciprocity in a relationship with a toxic person as narcissists never have your best interest in mind. A narcissist can be your parent, romantic partner, sibling, friend, or co-worker, which walking away from the relationship can make it extremely hard. But the best revenge for Sigma men is to limit the time we spend with toxic and narcissistic people and to live authentic and unapologetic. Hey Sigmas, we'll be featuring your comments in the next video. Leave us your comments. Also check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.